visible for you uh yeah it's visible uh okay. so i am sharing a uh, first question for you just let me know the output of it yeah sure sure oh yeah i have sent it in the chat box so okay, let me copy paste it uh, in both pad okay uh, so there is an uh, one class and having uh, these uh, rival classes and we are comparing these right on one if and else so okay i need to tell the output of it right uh, yeah sure yeah obviously we can't use the eclipse otherwise it will tell the output right yeah so yeah. not a problem i will tell j 100 and like integer it's 100 and it's 100 so once it comes here so this one is true so the first answer will be this and now came to the other condition 1 and 2 3 and 4 3 and 4 okay and 3 and 4 that it's 500 and 500 okay so the values are equal but as this is a wrapper class so and mm -hmm. wrapper class is having a a cache value from uh, minus 127 to almost 128 Uh, so this will be a getting a difference uh, reference value or address in a memory so this is different this is different so might be uh, answer is this i think yeah so this will be the answer of this particular question okay uh, so can you tell me the logic behind it yeah uh, uh the which i have discussed uh, uh, here like this is a wrapper class and uh, it is having a cache in a memory like uh, for 127 like when my program start compiling so what uh, for smooth execution or reducing a time of execution what compiler do it initialize few values like if you uh, initialized here instead of 500 you can say 50 and here also 50 mm -hmm. then answer would be different in that case the answer will this so here the reference value is equal in that case right but uh, in your question you have given to me 500 and 500 so this value is a uh, like uh, uh, more than this 128 that's why the compiler assign a uh, different reference like reference variable to reference to it right so that's why because it is a integer class and we are assigning a uh, int value here so it will become automatically a uh, inboxing or auto boxing of compiler so here a different uh, object of integer class is created in the both cases because it's a out of range value so that's why this is answer okay 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 got it ashwin so for the other question as well i'm sharing you the question is in chat please uh, look into it and tell me the answer yeah sure uh so this one right uh let me copy paste it okay so we are having one base class and here print method and one derived class which is extending this base and here derived and we are just giving a r implementation on over in this method right and in main class we are having do print and passing the reference of these values okay base class okay so now a uh, base we are uh, just creating a object of base so in this case the output uh, will be this is a simple so output will be base in this uh, case right uh, base and this is a variable sorry object of derived class and holding a object in a parent variable parent reference variable so in this a rule in overriding uh, in time of execution the method resolution take place with the help of object not a reference variable so in this case 
uh, the object is derived class so the output will be derived only in this case so so what will be the output in this case that is uh, derived x we are passing here and z this is uh, mm -hmm. derived z and new derived so this is also a derived actually okay yeah so is this your final answer mm, let me check once again so base and derived derived so by here passing here and why we are give it here so and object yeah this is a final answer okay okay shine great uh so one more last question mm -hmm. uh, form a largest number from an array okay. and i'll i'll tell you the array i'm just uh, like sending you on your chat yeah okay uh so the array you have shared uh this one so this this must be a uh a string type array right uh, because i need to form a um, uh value from it so it will be 9 uh 5 and 3 4 and uh, 3 3 0 okay uh so let me uh, code it uh class test so already two classes are available from previous test so like round one uh main and let me code like public static and it will be an uh, integer value and name will be largest number and it is a having string type arr or qr or arr whatever it is and let me uh, use arrays for it arrays dot short and comparator for i am passing array here and for natural shorting order if i want i can directly call this method but i want a uh, my comparator so i will say uh number uh num one here and comma uh, i'm doing from second to largest uh, from from back to end so num uh one and compare no 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 direct uh, lambda expression and again uh this is uh plus because uh, for the attention i'm doing here Okay. So it is uh, compared to. So I'm passing not. Sorry, my bad. So I'm passing these argument here, and I'm saying here uh, ah number one two number two and number one and compared to number two and dot compared to string. And here what I will do? It is ah. Uh, number uh one plus two number two so uh yeah i have to make it uh both uh number one and number two here so i will concrete here so i'm using a logic here i might be thinking it's confusing but logic like some uh let me copy paste this here yeah so what i'm doing here i'm just uh, asking to array like 30 or 30x so if it will be forming number 330 so i'm checking it compared to and all the other one it is forming a number 303 so according to that i'm just uh, applying a shorting to it and after that or uh, i will get an array and that is one string and one string is blank So I will get here, and 
I will say here uh, for each uh, string, I uh, will say s what I mean, str and it goes to what is this industry? So this auto like Eclipse is uh, working so smart today. <laughs> str mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, okay. Just uh, returning this str here and let me value uh, from here. So I will say string mm, array uh, ARR array of uh, directly I will pass here these uh, values and and this must be uh, like this sorry okay so let's me run this code and uh, i will say uh, this will be a string value sorry and uh, string directly i will put inside sop and uh, this will be uh, largest number and calling this method and passing arr so I will get my result. Let me run this code. I hope it will be done in the right direction. Yeah. 95 uh 9534330. Yeah, this is our okay. answer. Okay, okay. Okay, great. That's funny. Uh so that is it for my side. Okay, I am done. So okay. if you have anything, any question for me. Uh, no, no, not right now. Uh, thank for asking. Mm -hmm. Nice talking to you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Have a great Bye -bye. day. Thank you.